In the previous lesson, we talked about finding the slope from a graph. There are also other ways to find the slope, and this is another way that we're going to talk about today. We're going to find the slope and y-intercept from a table or two ordered pairs. The lesson objective is that by the end of this lesson, you can look at a table and not actually have to graph it to find the slope. You can take, those, take two ordered pairs from the table and find the slope and y-intercept. All right, just a really quick um, review. The y-intercept is where um, a line crosses the y-axis. The slope, remember we call it M, is the steepness of a line. And it's the change of y's over the change of x's. I know that seems really strange and you're not sure what that means, but you will be once we're finished with this lesson. An ordered pair, an ordered pair is a set of coordinates that go on the coordinate grid and they're set up with the x first and the y second. You can find an ordered pair or lots of ordered pairs from a table. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Okay, so let's jump right into it. How do I find a slope from a table? Well, we're going to find two ordered pairs in that table and we're going to subtract the uh, y's and the x's meaning we're going to find the difference or the change from y to x, okay? So the first thing we have to do is we have to first fill out our table. Well, we've started doing this, so I want to show you just a reminder how to do it. We're going to take the x value and plug it in to the equation. So like this first one would be negative 2 minus 2. Negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. That's the first one. And then we're going to re-plug in another value. Negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. We're going to put 0 in. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. And then we're going to put 1 minus 2 is negative 1. And 2 minus 2 is 0. All right? So after we've filled in our, our table, we have to choose two ordered pairs from that table. You can choose any two ordered pairs that you want. I like to choose as many uh, positive as possible because I think that's easier to work with. I only have two or one order pair that has all positive numbers, so I'm going to choose these two down at the bottom and I'm going to choose two right next to each other. I'm going to rewrite those. So this ordered pair is 1, negative 1, and this ordered pair is 2, 0. Now you see this right here. This is our formula for finding the slope when I have two ordered pairs. This is the x1 value, this is the x2 value, this is the y1 value, this is the y2 value. Please make sure that you keep them in order and one set of ordered pairs is the two values, one set of ordered pairs are the one values because if you don't, you'll end up with the wrong, um, not the wrong slope, but the wrong uh, positive or negative. So we're going to plug these numbers into our formula right here, all right? So we're going to take the y2 minus the y1. So 0 minus negative 2. Sorry, negative 1. Maybe I should read my ordered pair. And then I'm going to put it over the x2 minus the x1. So it's 2 take away 1. Now I'm going to solve this. 0 take away negative 1 makes that a positive 1 and 2 take away 1 makes that a positive 1. So I subtracted the y's to find the numerator, subtracted the x's to find the denominator, and now I'm going to simplify. 1 divided by 1 is just 1. So my slope, or m, of my line is 1. So now I found the slope, how do I find the y-intercept from a table? Well, remember when we talked about y-intercept, what we said was that it will always have a zero in the x value, okay? So I'm going to look at my table that I just filled out, and I'm going to go down the x's until I find zero, okay? 
the y value that goes with that zero is my y-intercept. So my y-intercept for this particular table is negative 2. All right, so let's try another one where uh, there's a fraction, okay? The first thing we have to do is fill out our chart. So here's what this equation would look like if I, if I substituted negative 8. It would be 1 fourth times negative 8 plus 2. When I solve that, I get negative 2 plus 2, which is 0. Then it would be 1 fourth times negative 4 plus 2. That would be negative 1 because negative or 1 fourth times negative 4 is negative 1 plus 2, which is 1. Now I'm going to put the 0 in times 0 plus 2. Any number times 0 is 0 plus 2, so that makes my number 2. Then I'm going to put a 4 in. I'm running out of room. Sorry about that. And I get 3. And then if I put my 8 back in, I get 4. Okay, so now that I have it, I am going to find my two ordered pairs that I want to use. Remember, I like to use ordered pairs that are positive. So I'm going to use this ordered pair and this ordered pair. So 4 and 3 and 8 and 4. I'm going to mark these so we remember this is x1 and this is x2 and this is y1 and this is y2. Now I'm going to put them into my formula. So y2 take away y1, 4 minus 3, and then x2 take away x1, which is 8 take away 4. 4 take away 3 is 1, 8 take away 4 is 4. Can I do any simplifying on that? No, so my slope is 1 fourth. So that means my line will have a slope of 1 fourth. Remember that the slope is rise over run. So it means that it'll go up one and over four every time to make the, the line. So let's find the y-intercept for this one. Remember the y-intercept always has a zero in the x value. So we're going to go down to the zero in the x value. That's our ordered pair. So my y-intercept is positive two. That's where, it would, where my line would cross the y-axis. This is all going to be really important because we're going to bring it all together and we're going to look at how to find the slope and everything and we're going to actually graph it using the y-intercept and the slope eventually. Okay, so it's your turn. Follow the steps, try and do this one by yourself and see how you do. See if you can find the slope and the y-intercept from the table. Okay. So let's see how you did. When you filled in, uh, when you plugged everything in, you should have gotten 19, 13, 7, 1, and negative 5. Again, it doesn't matter which values you chose, okay? It doesn't matter which values you chose. I would always, because we'll end up with the exact same slope. So just watch what I did and see if you ended up with the same slope. So I'm going to take 0, 7 and 1, 1, oops, not negative 1, this is all, just plain old 1, and I'm going to call this x1, and this x2, and this y1, and this y2, and now I'm going to plug it into the formula. The slope equals y2 minus y1, and x2 minus x1. You have to keep these in order, the X1s or the X2s first and the Y next, because if you don't, you'll end up with a negative or positive slope and it will be backwards. So one takeaway seven is negative six, one takeaway zero is one, and I can simplify this, so the slope of my line is negative six. Let's look at the Y intercept. I go to the zero value, and my y-intercept is 7. Hopefully that worked for you, and we'll see. Okay, so a very last problem, and I'm going to get rid of this y-intercept here because we're not making a table for it, so it's hard to find the y-intercept, okay? And I haven't taught you how to do that yet. What I want you to do is take these ordered pairs, 
plug them into the formula and see if you can find the slope just using those two ordered pairs. Pause the video, try it by yourself, and come back. Okay, let's see how you did. I'm going to keep marking mine. This is x1, this is x2, this is y1, this is y2. Okay, so now I'm going to plug it into the formula. 2 take away 3 and 1 take away negative 4. I'm going to solve it, so I'm talking about my slope, which is m. 2 take away 3 is negative 1. 1 take away negative 4 makes these positive, and that's a 5. So my slope of my line is negative 1 fifth. Knowing that it's negative, I know it's going to go this direction on my coordinate grid. All right, write down any questions you might have. Um, we will do these in class. You're going to get really proficient with how to find the slope, whether you're using a table or a graph.